when Mitt Romney is in Israel, he's going to say some things about Palestinians that are out of control. Now, in the rest of the U.S. media, I don't know if you'll see this, or, or certainly you won't see it being condemned, uh, they, because there's a race between Obama and Romney as to who could be more right-wing about Israel. So, if anything, I don't know, President Obama might want to copy these statements. But this is so over the top, even he might not go there. So what does Mitt Romney say? He says, quote, as you come here and you see the GDP per capita, for instance, in Israel, which is about $21,000, and compare that with the GDP per capita just across the areas managed by the Palestinian Authority, which is more like $10,000 per capita, you notice such a dramatically stark difference in economic vitality. Actually, he's wrong about the numbers, I'll get to that in a second, but yes, of course, there's a huge difference between Israel and the occupied territories. So what do you think is the answer, Mitt Romney? He says, oh, that's because of, quote, culture makes all the difference. And he also talked about the divine hand of providence. So apparently God wanted to crush the Palestinians and help the Jews, and uh, their culture is so much better. But he's not done yet. He also says, and as I come here and I look out over this city and consider the accomplishments of the people of this nation, I recognize the power of at least culture and a few other things. So, crystal clear, he said it twice. So, Palestinians, the reason you have less per capita GDP is because your culture is not as good as the Jewish culture. Hmm. Or it could be that you live in occupied territories where you do not have control over your own borders and hence over your own trade. In fact, Israel did a devastating blockade of the Gaza Strip where they literally would not allow anything in or out. So how are you supposed to build a economy when you can't move anything from across the border? And you can't sell anything outside the country, you can't sell anything into the country, it's not even a country, it's an occupied territory. That's kind of like saying, hey, you know what, ah, those slaves, you know what, their per capita GDP was much lower than the white Americans at the time during slavery. And it's their fault. It's their cultural problem. No, no, no. It's their problem because they're not getting paid because they're slaves. You know what the real uh, per capita GDP is, by the way? Romney got it all wrong. He said 21000 and 10000 It's not even remotely close. Israel actually has $31,000 uh, per capita GDP. West Bank and Gaza? 1500 that is 20 times more in Israel. Well, that's what happens when you shut off the borders and you say you can't do any trade and you can't build and you can't even control your own country. And then you turn around and you blame them for it? Well, listen, you moron. If you want to make the argument that per capita GDP means superiority of a culture. Okay, great, let's have at it, Hoss. Let's take a look at uh, some of the countries in the Middle East and their per capita GDP. Uh, Qatar. $102,700, UAE, $48,500, Kuwait, $40,700, oh, look at poor Israel, only $31,000, I guess their culture is inferior. Well, there you have it, Arab culture clearly superior to Israeli culture, and hence the Israelis had it coming, that they're just not as good as the Arabs. Now, if anyone said that with a straight face, people in this country would lose it, right? I mean, can you imagine a presidential candidate says that? Well, Arab culture is obviously better than Jewish culture. <laughs> How quickly would he be driven out of the race? I, he wouldn't even get nominated. <laughs> okay, and it, on this absurd argument based on GDP. Now, do I believe that Arab culture, Arab culture is superior to Jewish culture? What do you? Do I look as dumb as Mitt Romney? Of course not. By the way, the fact that they have oil in those countries might help a little bit. <laughs> okay, so it, the man is on top of everything else, painfully dumb. But the question is, is that a racist comment? <laughs> You know, it's a good question, it certainly appears so, but to me actually the overwhelming lack of intelligence is more important than anything else. Because look, there are good parts of a culture, there are bad parts of a culture, and, I, and you know me, I, I often talk about uh, culture being a real issue, right? And perhaps within the broad spectrum, if you ha looked at the actual numbers for all the countries and you took other things into context, well then you can begin to have that discussion, but this is not how you do it. So to me, the fact that it's dumber is more important than the fact that it's racist. And by the way, how much criticism will we get for it here in the US? I'd be surprised if he got any at all. <laughs> and uh, now the Palestinians, of course, not happy with it. Saab Erekat, senior aide to the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, said, 
it's Israeli occupiers and Palestinians under occupation, and that's why Palestinians cannot realize their potential. Uh, no more obvious words have ever been said, but apparently Mitt Romney doesn't get it. 